And we're back to learning GIMP and this time I'm going to show you how to create a dashed outline. I've got the original right here, you will find it via the description link below. Let me copy it and now we name the copy, we're going to work on it. So make sure it's active in the layers menu. Afterwards I'm going to use the path tool right here and now I go over the outline that I want to have. I just need left clicks for that. I can reposition these individual points of the path. By the way, I'm zooming in, holding control and then using my mouse wheel and I press the space bar to move around an image. Don't worry too much about curves at this point. And also don't worry too much about all the details. As always, the more time you put in, the better results will look. But I'm going to show you that you don't have to worry too much about details when it comes to this effect. For example here, between the finger and the hair, I just cut it short and go over it like this. When you've reached the end and you want to close your path, just hold control and then left click on the first of these points that you've created and this is going to close your path. So you have now a closed shape and that's what you need for the next step. And you can also make this shape exceed your canvas. So it doesn't have to be right here. Inside of the image I can also go outside. And I can give it curves now by hovering over these lines and then dragging them. And then I get the handles. I can use them to adjust the angle. So if you really need all of these little details, you can still adjust it like this. And once you're happy with what you've got, right click, select and then use from path. You'll get these marching ends. Then make sure you've got the color that you want for your dashes. I'm going to use white, but you can click on it and use, for example, red or make it flip and use black. As I've said, I'll use white. Then go to edit and use stroke selection. You can adjust the line width right here. Make sure that it's a solid color on the stroke line and then open a drop down. On the dash presets, you will find a couple. I guess by default, it's a line. But you can, for example, use medium dashes right here. Or you can even create your own by clicking on the scale on top where it says dash pattern. Let me use normal dots or something like this first. And all you have to do now is to confirm it by clicking on stroke. It might take some time, but there it is already. If I go to select a none, you can see properly. If you're not happy with what you've got, just press Ctrl Z until you've arrived at this point. So where there is no outline and then apply the stroke selection once more. Maybe use a different preset like these long dashes and I'll increase the width a little bit. Let's try 40. Again, I confirm via stroke. That's better, but it's still not what I want to have here, so I press Ctrl Z once more. Let me use the medium dashes and I'll go down to like 30 pixels for the line width. I confirm it once more. And now it looks way better. So you have to try a little bit around, press Ctrl Z here and there. You can obviously also change the cap and the join in the drop down. 
but this is a general process. Let's say you want to have an outline that's a little bit further away from the model. You can create your path like this and do it so that you directly have a little bit of spacing in between them. But there's also a different method that you can use. Let me press Ctrl Z until I've arrived at my selection without an outline. So like here. And now I just go to, not to edit, I'm sorry, I'll go to select right here and I use grow. I can grow this selection, well, let's say 10 pixels, but that wasn't enough. Let me grow it again and I'll add 20 pixels to it. And now you can see we've got this spacing between the model and our selection. And now I go to edit and use the stroke selection once more. I confirm via stroke and now we've got the same outline but with a little bit of distance between it and the model. If you don't want to have that at the bottom right here, you can simply solve that by right clicking on your layer, then add a layer mask. To begin with, use a full opacity via a white layer mask. Make sure black is the foreground color and then use, for example, the paintbrush. Make sure that you're painting on your layer mask, not the layer. So that's important. And then you can get rid of these dashes at the bottom. If you want to bring parts of them back, just flip your color and use white. In this case, I'll size it down a little bit. And I have to work with black and white here until I've got what I want. Let me size this brush down even further. And I go over the edges with a small one of like 10. And that's what I wanted to have. So in many cases you have to combine all of these methods to get what you want. But there's a general process of creating this outline in GIMP. I hope this video was helpful, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.